It's kind of early, but the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 codename was already revealed, and it seems interesting because of the timing. We get some dummies of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, which have a clear but bezel-less display. It seems that Samsung is picking Qualcomm technology in order to bring their on-display fingerprint scanner. I'm Jaime Rivera, still in San Francisco, actually close to the YouTube headquarters for something really awesome happening tomorrow, and we are also remembering the lives of those lost at 9-11. This is Pocket Now Daily, powered by Qualcomm. The official news today begin with deals. Pretty much every single retailer is currently offering the Samsung Galaxy S9 Duo, meaning the plus and the regular, for a starting price that's crazy, starting at 629, depending on the variant that you're looking for. And I'm talking about pretty much almost every store out there, and I know I repeated pretty much like four times already. But anyways, you get the picture, you can learn more about the deals in the description. Now, for those of you that have been following all the leaks of iPhones lately, and you saw the leaked photos of the iPhone prototypes in red, blue, and white recently, patriotic, yes, I know, uh, apparently these weren't dummies. It turns out that trusted sources claim these are actually prototype units. Uh, so this actually spurs the rumors even better. Remember, tomorrow is the event. And by the way, remember the price of your current iPhone is about to drop significantly after that event. It's about that time to list it on Swappa to get the best resale value or get a good deal for a current iPhone right now. You can learn more about that in the description as well. Now, some very interesting rumors have Samsung already working together with Qualcomm on their fingerprint scanner technology for the on-display fingerprint scanner of the Samsung Galaxy S10. So yes, the technology is coming. We're hearing that it's going to come to at least two of, the, two of the variants, or probably the three. We're not exactly sure, but apparently we are going to have this technology coming over, and we're really curious as to how that works, as a Qualcomm has proven that they've been doing some amazing job lately, so we'll see. Now, let's move the spotlight over to the Huawei Mate 20. And May 20 Pro, we've got some leaked images of the front of the phone on dummy units, and uh, oh my god, like there are very little bezels. There's a significant notch, I can't deny that, but the bezels on the rest of the chassis are very insignificant. Uh, it looks extremely cool. I can't deny that I'm really looking forward to this phone, particularly with all the changes that are coming and internals and everything. Stay tuned on that one. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. I know, before you guys mock me in the comments over why we're picking this topic as the hottest one, well, we've got a code name. Apparently, it is Da Vinci. And the reason why we have a code name now is because sources claim that the Note is going to launch with the S10 at the same time. Uh, and uh, we're hearing huge revamps here. So uh, Da Vinci, what could it be? Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think? I mean, we just got the Note 9. I barely just reviewed it. It's a hot phone. Are you ready for another Note? Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. What if I told you that your future smartwatch will also be smart enough to know how to be a regular watch when you need it to? The new Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform has a cool new feature called traditional watch mode. If you're ever low on battery, this will switch Wear OS off and keep ticking as a regular watch for about a week without a charge. You can also switch on traditional watch mode with a full charge and go for 30 days without a charger. Hit the link in the description below to learn why the new Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 3100 is so cool. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.